This is a class on okay. cryptocurrency conducted under the OneCoin brand of cryptocurrency. The central bank treats cryptocurrency at arm's length, warning people to trade carefully. But more and more people are getting involved. Cryptocurrencies operate under technology called blockchain, whose safety is good enough that banks and others want to tap into it. We don't really think about digital currencies more than we think about blockchain, the actual technology, because I think that that's where the benefit for banks will be in terms of how do we digitize some of our processes by leveraging blockchain as a technology. With our blockchain system, it records every transaction. Nobody can steal your money, your coins. Nobody can mess up with whatever you have. The term coin is a basic definition of value, the way you would say shilling or dollar in cryptocurrency. The players in this space call this an alternative to paper money as virtual currency. There are people who are using Bitcoin, there are people who are trading, there are people who are, who are using it to buy, for example, at B4, they buy cars, they pay in Bitcoin. We have a bit B4 at camp, uh, office in Kampala. Uh, look, personally, I also, you know, purchase things online using Bitcoin. And several people, depending on how much information have they gathered, gathered already and how confident are they that this is a currency, not, not some, some sort of, you know, gambling thing. It will have over 40,000 companies today that accept one coin as a mode of exchange. You can go into that deal shaker, you buy a car, you buy property across the globe. Some of the cryptocurrency systems are owned by one person, but others have no owners. Some are listed publicly, while others are not. One could use these digital coins as storage for value or items to buy and sell while making money. For those which are listed like Bitcoin, more risk is carried therein as prices can move up and down. Bitcoin is highly volatile, we all know that. Uh, it goes up probably sometimes very fast and then crashes down at some point and then goes up again. So you're, you're going to need to learn when should I buy and when should I sell in such a kind of currency. Digital currencies are driven by demand and supply. Without the demand, it has no value. So it's the people that gives it value generally. We are supposed to be learning about cryptocurrencies. Usability, when we know how it works, then we can start using it.